I'd like to begin the second batch of tutorials by looking at the pulse in and its routing. I'm bringing the all pulses out of the 250E into the pulse in of the aux card. From there, we can route it to sequencer, envelope generator, or pulser. I have the pulser destination switch set to sequencer. I'm now going to start the 250E pulse train. And indeed, it's running the sequencer. Flip the EG and envelope generator, adjusting attack, sustain, and decay to taste. And finally, switch to pulser. Likewise, adjusting the decay or length. The cool thing about in sequencer is we can now have the envelope generator read the sequencer. And by putting the pulser in triggered and sequencer, it also reads it. So we can have some interesting combination of envelopes coming out of the pulser, sequencer, and envelope generator all at the same time. And here's a fun little patch. I have CV pitch coming from the 250E going to the modulation oscillator in audio range. And I have that coming up over here on the pulser. Um, so we'll be able to hear the mod oscillator here. I have the sequencer going to pitch of the complex oscillator and I'm stacking on top of that and using that to open and close low pass gate one. So we'll be able to hear the um, complex oscillator on low pass gate one with varying attacks coming from the sequencer. Okay. Set, ready, set, go. So engage sequencer. Bring that up. And engage the pulser to read the sequencer. And engage the envelope generator to read the sequencer. And send that to timbre. All sorts of possibilities.